The E6B can be used in two ways. One, given wind information, you can determine aircraft heading and ground speed. The other, given heading and ground speed, you can reverse the process to obtain wind direction and speed. The first method is needed for the private pilot knowledge test, the second for the instrument pilot knowledge test. We're going to discuss the first method. Having wind information, we're going to determine aircraft heading and ground speed. You can think of this flight computer as having two configurations or modes, wind mode and aircraft mode. In wind mode, we're going to set the wind direction and speed. Then we're going to rotate the cart around and put it into aircraft mode, at which points we're going to set course and we're going to set the airspeed and we'll be able to read the ground speed and the heading. So for starters, let's put our flight computer into wind mode by setting wind direction and speed. So in this example, say the wind is out of the north at 360 degrees and it's blowing 20 knots. We're going to set the information at the top of the card and down through this line. So we're going to set 360 degrees as our wind direction and now we need to set 20 knots of wind, which is simply a measurement up from the grommet. We can measure it using the scale that's printed underneath. It doesn't matter where the card is, we simply need to set it at a convenient value so that we can count up 20. So I'll set it at 100, and I'll make my mark at 120 to represent 20 knots of wind. So we have it set up in wind mode now. Now it's time to rotate the card and put it into aircraft mode. So once we have this configured, now we're going to use aircraft mode. We're going to set the course at the top, and we're going to set the heading or the wind dot to be over the airspeed arc. So in this example, the wind is from the north at 20, but we're flying 45 degrees. So I'm going to rotate the cart around and set the course up here at 45 degrees. Now I know my airspeed is 110. So I will set my wind dot to be over the airspeed arc of 110. From this configuration, now the card is ready to tell me some things. It's telling me my wind correction angle, which is just counted over from the center line. I can count 2, 4, 6, 7 degrees to the left, which would give me a heading of 45 minus 7, or 38 degrees. It's also giving me my ground speed, which is halfway between 90 and 100, and I can interpolate at 95 knots. Let's talk more about airplane mode before we do another problem. How can you remember how to set the card up in airplane mode? You can remember that these red items at the top are what the aircraft is actually doing over the ground. This is the course it's actually flying over the ground, as represented perhaps by a line on a sectional. And this is the ground speed, the speed at which it is actually traveling over the ground. The items in green are what the aircraft is doing through the air. Its air speed, for instance, and its heading, both of which are going to be affected by how the wind is blowing. So remember, set what is actually happening at the top, and set the variables about what the aircraft is doing through the air on the bottom or wherever this line happens to be. You can think of it as the line is curved, just as your airplane instruments will change depending on the wind. So let's do a problem. Say your wind is from 220 degrees at 15 knots. Your course on the sectional is 90 degrees, and your airspeed is 110 knots, and we need to determine ground speed and wind correction angle. So to start, we're going to set the flight computer up in wind mode. We have our wind information. So let's set the wind direction at 220 degrees. And let's set the wind speed at 15 knots, simply by measuring the amount up from the grommet. So for ease, I'm going to set the grommet at 100, so I can easily count up 10, 15. Now let's rotate this around and put it into airplane mode. Remember, with airplane mode, you set what's actually happening in reference to the ground using the grommet and the true index. Then you set what the airplane is doing through the air, as in speed, and as far as heading goes, by placing a dot down here. 
So what do we know about what's actually happening? We know the true course. The true course is 90 degrees. We don't yet know our ground speed, so we're going to start by simply setting our true course. Now that our course is set, what else do we know? We know our airspeed. We know our airspeed is 110 knots. So we're going to align the wind dot with the airspeed arc that represents 110 knots. Now the card in airplane mode is giving us some information. It's giving us a wind correction angle, which can be measured as degrees off from this center line, in this case, two, four, about five degrees to the right which would result in a heading of 90 plus 5, or 95 degrees. It's giving us a ground speed, which can be measured by just looking right at the grommet. In this case, it's 110, 12, 14, 16, 18, 118 knots over the ground. Let's do another. Now our wind is 90 degrees at 25 knots. Our course is 135 and our airspeed is 120. Let's configure the flight computer in wind mode. So we're going to set wind direction at the top as 90 degrees, and then we're going to set a wind dot up from the grommet at 25 knots. Now for ease of, ease of measuring up from the grommet, I'm going to set the grommet at 100, so I can count 10, 25 knots. Now let's configure the card in airplane mode. In airplane mode, we're going to set what is actually happening in reference to the ground using this part, and then we're going to set what's happening in the air on these lines. So what's actually happening over the ground? Well, we have a true course of 135. So spin the wheel around to 135. Now we don't know our ground speed, so we can't use the grommet at this point, but we do know our airspeed. So let's set our airspeed at 120, and let's make sure that that wind dot is aligned directly over the airspeed arc. Now we're configured in airplane mode. So what is the card telling us? Well, first of all, it's telling us our wind correction angle, which in this case is 2, 4, 6, 8 degrees to the left, which would result in a heading of 135 minus 8, or 127 degrees. It's also telling us our ground speed, which in this case is just slightly over 100 or approximately 101 knots.